today I thought I would give you a tour of my uh, personal chocolate chameleon. Um, as you can tell, it's pretty well stuffed. Uh, I've tried working with uh, an A5, um, but I just cannot make the transition away from the person size. Uh, so right now, Person is empty, uh, and I've got everything that I need inside of my purse here. So let's open this up and have a look. Um, so I use this uh, also as a wallet. So as you can see here, I've got uh, my cash, uh, and in the card slots on the front, I just keep uh, some uh, tabs, some post-it flags, some washi tape that uh, people have generously sent to me. see that I apologize for the lag. But if I bring it up closer, uh, on the front I carry a picture of my uh, Yorkshire Terrier. His name is Ozzy, as well as one of my uh, business cards. On the back side of Ozzy's picture, I have a picture that probably would only be easily recognized by Kent and Miles. Uh, both Kent and I share a appreciation uh, for Thomas Merton, who was a monk at Our Lady of Gethsemane in Trappist, Kentucky, which is right outside of Bardstown. And after for after living in the uh, Abbey for several years, he requested of his abbot if he could move into St. Anne's which is basically his hermitage that he lived in there on the grounds of Our Lady of Gethsemane. On the front, I have a flyleaf, um, and this flyleaf just has post-it notes where I just jot quick things like uh, Leaf Young, um, a veterinary prescription, some things I need to pick up at the store. Um, then uh, I just have some nice cross decorations uh, up in the back that uh, a buck of clover is sent to me. Uh, I have my personal information, my registration number. Uh, the first section in my uh, chameleon is notes. Uh, and this is basically where I keep any kind of note, any kind of list, uh, things I want to get for my wife. I'll fill it all up so she won't see that. Uh, things I'd like to get for myself. Uh, medications that I take. A household budget. Uh, here's a, a wish list of some ink samples that I want to get from uh, the Gourlay Pen Company. A uh, book wish list of books that I'd like to pick up from Amazon stationary wish list, uh, a lotto number, uh, resolutions for 2014, uh, some magazines that I'd like to subscribe to, some of our favorite family meals, and here is my uh, uh, Rory. If you're looking at this particular video, this is my fountain pen wish list, and you can see that's in the number one position of 92K uh, in a fine. Not normally do I write with a fine. I generally write with a medium or a broad, but uh, I thought I would like to try a fine uh, nib. Then I have, uh, yes, there are 18 fountain pens on my wish list. Uh, and that's if I ever want a lot of ink. Uh, then I have an ink wish list of some inks that I need to purchase from uh, the Gourlay Pen Company. Here's my Filofax wish list. As you can see, it's dominated by pocket chameleons and a Holden. And uh, Josh Weatherford is not my dear old lady of the purse now. Five quarter of an inch Winchester. And my next section is called projects. Uh, and in my projects, 
projects uh, section, ideas for my blog, my blog, uh, some book related projects, my uh, 101 things in 1001 days list, as well as other projects. My next section is my reading section. Uh, and in my reading section, I have a list of books that I've read in 2014. Here is my current uh, TBR list. And then I list uh, books by author. Uh, if I like a specific author, I like to know every book that they've written so that I can read them in chronological order. So I can basically experience the evolution uh, of a writer in the process. Um, so I've got several, several, several different <coughs> authors that I like. <coughs> the next section is uh, inspiration. Uh, and this is where I just list any type of quotes that I get from reading uh, or um, uh, sermons, etc., that I want to remember and refer back to. Uh, they go in my inspiration section. spiritual section and in my spiritual section um, I have a uh, separate prayer list for uh, family uh, one for friends one for co-workers um, one for ministries and then one specific uh, for specific prayer requests I also keep uh, some spiritual quotations in here as well as some sermon notes followed by a uh, my to-do list and then I have the uh, A to Z tabs for the contacts following that so I click past oops okay um, I have various cards in the back I have my driver's license my social security card debit cards, uh, merchant cards, uh, business cards, and then I end with uh, my uh, copy of My Daily Bread, which is just a daily devotional uh, that I like to use. And I actually do use the Destitute Pocket in the back. Uh, and in the Destitute Pocket, I have postage stamps, I have smaller um, profit cards as well as any quarters that I have. So I really enjoy the setup of the chameleon. Uh, I think it's a beautiful planner uh, and it feels wonderful in my hand. Uh, it's the perfect size. Uh, yes, it's scruffed up a little that just adds to its character. So thank you for joining me for the tour through my chameleon. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for watching.